Hey beauty bosses! Today I have my top 20 tips on how to get new customers as an Avon representative. So whether you are brand new to Avon, whether you've been with Avon for years and years, I hope some of these tips can help you. Let's get started. These are gonna work for you. All right, number one, order brochures. Your brochure is your store. If you don't have brochures, your store is closed. Order enough brochures. If you run out of brochures, your store is closed. And don't skip an order. If you're skipping your orders, you're not able to order brochures. Therefore, you don't have brochures and again, your store is closed. If you're in a pinch and you've either missed an order or you forgot to order brochures, contact your upline leader or your district sales manager or a fellow friendly representative in your district. Someone's bound to have 10, 20, 30 extra brochures that you can buy from her, but don't be without your brochure because your brochure is your store. You don't wanna close your store. All right, tip number two, never throw a brochure away. A lot of you know already that the brochures are valid for three campaigns at a time. So as you're placing your order for campaign 13, you can back order from the 13, the 12, or the 11 brochure. So never throw a book away. Even after the book has technically expired, the products, especially the core products in the brochure, like your Skin So Soft, your fragrance, your skincare, your makeup, those are gonna be re repeated throughout the brochures for campaign after campaign. So chances are you're going to be able to find the product in the newer brochures. You're either gonna be able to match the price or if you have to take a dollar or two uh, loss on your profit to gain a new customer, that's worth it. So never throw a book away. What do you do with your extra books? Maybe you have 60, 70, 100 brochures saved up from past campaigns, or maybe one campaign you ordered too many, or maybe one campaign you went to your district sales meeting and you got extra brochures for free. Toss them. You can use the clear literature bags that you can get for like 85 cents from Avon. There's like 50 of them. You put the brochure in the bag, you tie it up, and you toss them in driveways um, as you pick a neighborhood. Do not put the books in the mailbox. That's a federal offense. We don't want to tamper with anyone's mail. But you can slide it in the newspaper slot or you can toss it in driveways. Um, book tossing does work with consistency, with repetition. Um, no, sorry, I had a brain, brain moment there. Okay, moving on. Repetition for brochure tossing. All right, tip number three, the power of three. Consistently be consistent by passing out three brochures every day. Even if you're doing it five days a week, if you're passing out three brochures five days a week, that's 15 potential customers. Now I'm talking about stuffing three brochures in your bag for your purse. You're running out for the day. You're running errands that you're already gonna be running. You're, you have to go to the grocery store. You have to go to the bank. You have to pick up um, the kids from school. You have to um, run through the Chick-fil-A drive-through. These are places that you're already going and you're just gonna utilize your time out and about passing out three brochures. Don't let yourself go home until you've passed out those three brochures. So the cashier at the grocery store is gonna get a brochure. The um, teller at the bank is gonna get a brochure. You say, hey, have you seen an Avon book lately? I have one for you. I love the new lipstick that's on the back and it's actually on sale two for 10. My name and number's on the back. Let me go ahead and get your phone number and I'll text you when my next order is in, um, is going in and I'll text you a coupon code where you can shop online for 10% off, how's that sound? Nine times out of 10, they're gonna give you their phone number or their email address and you know what, if they say no, that's okay. Hey, take this brochure, look at it when you get the opportunity and contact me if I can help you. No problem. They're not saying no to you, they're just saying no to Avon, and that's okay. So they'll at least still take the brochure, and if that brochure ends up in the lounge and someone else picks it up, you never know. All right, moving on, tip number four. Get the contact info. If you don't ask for that contact info, you're not gonna get it. 
if the ants if you don't ask the answers always no I love that quote so like the example I just used you're passing a book out to someone hey my info is on the back let me go ahead and get your info and I'll text you when my next order goes in and I'll also text you um, a coupon code you can use to shop online get the contact info all right number five follow up the fortune is in the follow-up all y'all have heard me say that before call your customers call that lead so you went to chick-fil-a you were brave enough to ask for the contact info and she gave you her phone number use it follow up say hey Susie it was great to meet you um, I loved my chicken sandwich whatever I hope you had a chance to look at the brochure I'm placing an order tomorrow what can I get you did you notice the lipstick on the back it's on sale two for ten it's my favorite follow up all right number six friends and family what we call your warm list. These are people that you already know, that you already have a relationship with. Hey mom, I just started selling Avon. Would you look at a brochure and, and order from me? I, your family wants to support you. Your friends want to support you. So ask your friends and family to place an order, to look at a brochure. Also, ask your friends and family to share your social media posts for you on their wall. That way, all of their friends are seeing your Avon business, and you never know who is looking for an Avon representative. And if I'm looking for a referral, like maybe I want um, a LuLaRoe representative, I, I, want a, I want a Carly dress or something, I'm going to order from someone that my mom knows versus just a random person I'm finding online. So those referrals are so important from your friends and family. Okay, number seven, ask your customers for referrals. Your customers already shop from you. They love Avon. Chances are their friends are going to love Avon too. Women shop in groups. You, you guys know that. If you've ever been to the mall with a friend and she picks out the yellow cardigan at Belk or whatever, you're like, oh, I want that too. And you get it too. So ask your customers for, for referrals and then reward your customer for the referral. Give them a free gift if their friend places an order. So referral, referral. Okay, number eight. Don't wait for the phone to ring. Don't pass out your 20 brochures to random people, not getting the contact information, and then just sit at home and wait for the phone to ring and think to yourself, gosh, I'm not, I'm not making any money. I'm not getting any orders. Well, <laughs> people aren't going to call you. They don't know when to call. They don't know when your order is going in. You need to call them and say, hey, Susie Q, my order's going in tomorrow. What can I get you? Don't sit and wait for the phone to ring. All right. Number nine, your contact info isn't in on your brochures. There's a nice little spot on the back here where you can put your contact info. So make yourself some labels. You can use Microsoft Word. These are just the 30 per page Avery labels. I like to use the Avery app that's on youravon.com through the Avon Advantage link because I can print my QR code here. So my customer can scan that QR code um, with their phone and it takes them straight to my e-store. So make sure your contact info is on the back of your brochure so your customer can get a hold of you. Okay, number 10, again with the follow-up, call every customer, every campaign. I don't care if you've been selling for 13 years like I have, I call every customer, every campaign. Hey Sue, my order's going in this week, what can I get you? And then you know what, if I don't call them, like let's say I'm on vacation or something and I call them like two weeks later, I had an order for you and you didn't call me. Well, okay, <laughs> again, don't sit and wait for the phone to ring. Customers have orders, you have to call them, ask for the order, every customer, every campaign. Okay, uh, where am I at on my list here? Number 11, use the products. You're selling Avon, so use Avon. Don't you dare run out of shampoo and run to Walmart and get some suave shampoo. You order Avon shampoo and get it at a discount. That way you can tell your customers what you like about the shampoo, which shampoo that you like. Little by little, replace all of those products in your bathroom that you've purchased at Walmart and Target or even the mall um, and replace them with Avon. Shop from yourself earn a great discount and then be able to tell your customers, um, be able to suggest customer uh, products to your customers. Um, they wanna hear what you use and they wanna use what you use. Um, so believe in that product, shop from yourself. Don't you dare buy shampoo at Walmart. <laughs> okay, 
uh, number 12, order demos. Look the part, especially when you are doing your deliveries. Don't go on a delivery in sweatpants, no makeup, it looks like you haven't brushed your hair. Trust me, girl, there are days where I do that when I'm at home working online <laughs> I'm in my pajamas with no makeup. But if you are out representing your beauty business, look the part. Wear the clothes, wear the jewelry, wear the makeup. Get yourself one, maybe one demo every campaign. Give yourself a budget of um, demos that you can purchase. But that way, as you're wearing the jewelry out and about, you know our jewelry is so much prettier in person. Same with the clothes and the shoes. People are always surprised when I have Avon clothes on. They're like, girl, you look cute. I'm like, yeah, it's Avon. They're like, what? So look the part, order demos. Number 13, samples. Samples are a free gift for your customers. So take advantage um, in the what's new. There are often sample bundles on sale. So when you see a skincare bundle or a fragrance bundle on sale, you take advantage of that and you order your samples um, through the what's new. Maybe you don't have a big budget for samples, find a scratch and sniff page in the brochure. And then when you're calling your customer, be like, hey, turn to page 12. Our new absolute fragrance, scratch it and smell it. Oh, don't you love it? I love the sandalwood notes in that or whatever. So take advantage of those scratch and sniff um, pages in the brochure. Make your own samples. Maybe you have a full size fragrance that you absolutely love. Um, get yourself a business card or I've, I've seen some representatives get the little flower petals that you can get like at, at Hobby Lobby or whatever and they spray the little flower petals or your business card or even the brochure, spray the brochure um, with that fragrance and say, doesn't your, doesn't your bag smell good today? That's the absolute fragrance. So make your own samples. Um, or do a mini makeover. Like get yourself one of these um, clear literature bags. Put um, a skincare sample, a foundation sample, and maybe a lipstick bu uh, bullet and say, in your bag today, I have a mini makeover for you. And make it sound like a super special gift um, that you're giving them. Or do a hand shawl. Like let's say you have, um, the hand creams are on sale this campaign. So get yourself the full size hand cream, put it in your purse. And as you're making your deliveries or you're passing out books as you're out and about, say, hey, I have this hand cream I want you to try. And you squeeze it right there in your hand and you let them put it on right then. Um, we call it a hand shawl instead of a face shawl. Okay, then what are you gonna do after you've given out your samples and you've invested money in your samples? You're gonna follow up and ask them, hey, how'd you like that hand cream you tried the other day? Or how'd you like that fragrance? Or how'd you like that lipstick? Follow up, ask how they liked it. How many of those can I order for you this campaign? All right, number 14, promote your e-store. Your e-store is a free website where Avon has done all of um, the work for you to set that domain up and make it all pretty and fancy. All you have to do is promote it. Let's say you don't have social media, that's okay. You can text people the e-brochure and a link to your e-store. You can email your e-store to your customers. So don't let the fact that you don't have social media hold you back. If you do have social media, use it. You can use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google+, um, Craigslist, uh, what are some other ones? Um, there's an app called Nextdoor. There's all kinds of Facebook groups, selling groups, business groups. Take advantage of every aspect of social media to promote your e-store. Set up your automated emails. There are gorgeous emails that Avon sends out every campaign with um, different promotions, videos on makeup tutorials, um, so much great content and Avon sends it out automatically. All you have to do is set it up. There is a um, tutorial in the group um, that you can access on how to set up those emails, automated emails if you need help doing that. Okay, uh, where are we at? Number 17, offer specials. Lately, Avon has been doing a purchase with purchase. So when the customer spends $40, they can purchase this extra cute bundle and it's only like $10. So definitely be promoting Avon's promotions, that PWP, purchase with purchase, but maybe offer your own gift with purchase. So maybe say um, when you're promoting your 
your um, business online or you're texting customers and calling customers say hey I have a free gift with purchase this campaign if you spend forty dollars you're gonna get a free gift now that free gift can be anything from a lip balm or a mini hand cream or a shower gel or it can be something like a mini makeover bundle um, the free gift can be anything you want it to be because you're the boss um, and then referrals again offering that free gift if um, they can refer someone to you that places an order Number 17, a brochure party or a Facebook party. Um, a brochure party is you're finding a hostess and that hostess is passing brochures out for you, collecting orders for you, collecting money for you. You're placing that order with the money that they've collected. You are giving her the products, she is delivering it, and you're giving her um, a credit towards her Avon order or a free gift or a bundle. You can reward her however you want. And the same um, applies to a Facebook party. Um, have a Facebook party with um, a hostess. She is inviting all of her friends. And then um, you're just doing the event online through Facebook, and I'll help you. If you guys need help with that, just let me know. Number 18, use the social media center app. This is a free app that we can use. You can text the brochure to your customers um, in your contact list, um, but you can also send customers, again, through text um, or on your social media like Facebook, gorgeous ads that are already done for you. All you have to do is share them. All right, number 19, we're wrapping it up here. Leave your business cards. Um, let's say you're running low on funds or your brochures are already gone and you're having lunch at Panera or something with a friend and you're on your way to the bathroom. There's that little community bulletin board in the back. Post a couple of your business cards on that community bulletin board. That's what it's for. I see bulletin boards like that in a lot of places. Um, doctor's offices, um, garages, like when I'm getting my oil changed, I'll leave books in there and business cards on that community bulletin board. If you're looking for them, um, especially on your, when you're on your way to the bathrooms and um, restaurants, those community bulletin boards are everywhere. Number 20, last tip. Visit businesses with brochures and samples and say, Happy Customer Appreciation Day. I have um, some brochures and some samples for you guys. Do you have an Avon representative servicing you? Maybe give the receptionist a, a, um, a full-size hand lotion or something to kind of say um, welcome to my business um, and just call it Happy Appreciation Day and visit all those businesses that live close to you um, that you can drop brochures off and, and get um, sales in that group setting. All right, so those are my 20 tips. I hope that you have found something of use for you. Try something new this week, this summer. Um, see what can work for you. But my final overall tip, believe in yourself. Believe in your business and exude confidence. Exude um, the confidence that you have in the products and in yourself and your customers are going to um, love what they're seeing in you and they're gonna see your excitement and they're going to want to buy from you. They're not gonna wanna buy from Avon, they're gonna wanna buy from you. So, it'll come with practice, be consistently consistent um, and you'll do great. All right, I love you guys, bye.